you know what to do you know who the enemy is you know what he has got and you fight that it's open warfare when somebody accuses you when somebody spreads rumors it is guerrilla warfare the enemy is hidden rarely comes out works through a network behind the scenes hits withdraws guerrilla warfare so i'm not talking about accusation accusation you can deal with directly and fight it rumors character assassination that is a different ball game altogether now <coughs> what kind of people would indulge in this activity a lot of people would. but there are three categories in which you can put them the first category is the ones who are extremely jealous or envious of jealousy is what drives a person to spread rumors about you character assassinate you malign you behind your back they don't have the guts to come in front face you and accuse you no they are the ones who are extremely jealous and they could be jealous of many things i mean they could be jealous of your success which is most for the time they could be jealous of your wealth the money you have they could be jealous of your beauty your talents <coughs> sometimes they could be jealous of the happiness you have in life who oh, many are jealous if you have a good spouse or if you have wonderful children There's so many things people can be jealous about. So when people feel extreme envy or jealousy, <coughs> they tend to uh, vent that by. spreading rumors about you. that gives them the satisfaction that gives them a opportunity to hit back to your good fortune which they may or may not have that's the first category the second category is those who have an agenda when i say have an agenda is they plan it Yes, a little bit of jealousy is there, but it's more like I want to take revenge. I want to hit back. I want to bring this person down. They have an agenda to complete, and they have an agenda in your failure or in putting up various kind of hurdles. or trouble for you so they are agenda driven the first is jealousy driven the second category is agenda driven. and there is a third category which i call collateral damage you are not the target but you are close to the target so the muck flies on you all now that's unfortunate but it does So these are the three categories in which you know you can slot the rumors. Either they are out of jealousy, out of agenda, or it's collateral damage. Somebody else is the target. The rumor is about that person, but since you are in close proximity to that person, the muck falls on you also, and you are involved. 
to some extent. Now, what is a rumor? I'll tell you how a rumor is made. Very simple. You take 20% fact, wrap it with 80% lies, and sprinkle it, garnish it with a nice handful of sleaze, sexual innuendo, salacious gossip, garnish it. And you have a rumor ready. Rumors have a have a have a shelf life. The shelf life of a rumor depends on how juicy it is, how much sleaze factor it has. See, if your rumor is not juicy, it will fall flat. It won't go to the third person also. It will stop at the first, second stage. The idea of somebody spreading rumors that it should spread enough to do damage to you or to cause you harm. So it has to be spiced up. There has to be juice in it. Otherwise, how will it, how will it travel? The shelf life will end. The more juicy it is, the longer the shelf life and the more it travels. Now, how do you handle it? How do you handle people maligning you, spreading rumors? You can't go around fighting these things by telling everybody, oh, listen. Rumors are spread about me. Please don't believe it. Or you can't go and convince each and every person you know or who think you know has heard the rumor. That no, 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 it's otherwise. I mean, you know, I didn't do these things. I didn't say these things. That's not how we do. <coughs> you know, for the first category, that is people who are jealous of you and who spread rumors, character assassinate you because out of sheer jealousy. My theory is that the best answer to your critics and to people who dislike you is to be double successful. Double your rate of success. Obviously, there is some success, something about you which is getting them jealous, double it. Nothing hurts your enemies more than your success. Not you hitting back, not you targeting their success, but increasing your success. Be twice as successful, twice as fast. That will burn them better than any fire you can put them on. <coughs> you know what the advantage of this system is? It's karma free. <laughs> <laughs> See the plus point. If you retaliated and you harmed that person in some way, you didn't get karma. You're taking revenge. Here there's no karma. You're only doing better than what you did, succeeding more than what you would have otherwise. Where's the karma? So you're demolishing your enemy without incurring karma. <coughs> but here, I must tell you one thing. Once give you a caution, a warning. When you find people are against you, people are spreading rumors against you, they, you have, I mean, sheer success that you achieve in whatever field or for whatever reason, people envy you. And you know it. 
always keep your defenses strong. When I say defenses, I mean your energetic defenses, your auric field, your mental state. Why? Because jealousy is a extremely, extremely strong emotion. When a person is burning with jealousy about you, their thoughts, their thoughts actually create a kind of a, you can say an astral vehicle, which comes and attacks you and latches itself in your aura. The moment your aura is weak, you will get affected by that. You see, every case which we call black magic is not really a, 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 a case where people go to a tantric and, 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 and do a havan and put uh, 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 animals in it and, and, and do stuff like that and, and then try to attack you. No, that's, that is only, that happens in films more often, but those are rare cases. When you are affected by what you call evil eye, Nazar Lagna. It is a person's strong negative thoughts about you, intentions about you, which are projected so hard and so well because of a very strong emotion that it comes and hits you. Therefore, maintaining a strong defense in the form of energetic defense means your auric field, your mental state is absolutely vital. Yes, and, one, and, 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 and in Tadekam we teach that that's a large part of what we teach. How to maintain a strong aura. How to deflect negative influences. Keeping your aura clean, keeping your chakras balanced, doing certain mantras. These are, you know, keeping your house environment positive. These are certain ways in which you strengthen your defenses. Because you cannot go and, 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 and knock the other person out because that's not done. I mean, you don't probably even know where it's coming from half the time. So this is how you deal with rumors, character assassination in you and you. Be double successful. The rumor will die off. But protect your aura. See that your energetic defenses are there. In case of agenda based rumors and collateral damage, you have to wait for the right opportunity to expose the people who are doing it. That opportunity comes, but you have to be patient. And you have to expose those people. Again, keep your aura strong. There are certain spiritual practices that we teach you where you can actually stop this kind of activity. Like, for example, soul communication, intentional box, healing the other person, you know, distant healing the other person. These are, these are various ways in which you can counter agenda-based attacks and collateral damage. So, by and large, your approach to this kind of activity should be A, protect yourself energetically, B, be more successful. And the more successful you get, the less credible are the stories against you. Let me tell you the karmic implication of spreading rumors or assassinating some of these characters or uh, maligning something. <coughs> you know, it is 
rank as equal to murder. Yes, this may come as a big surprise. Spreading false rumors about a person. Doing character assassination. Spreading salacious, malicious gossip with the intent of harming, hurting or causing disruption in a person's life. Is the same karmically as murder. But my interpretation is that it is much worse than that. You see, when you kill somebody physically, you do it once. And it's over. Okay, you will pay for whatever you have done. Here, as the rumor spreads, as it reaches more people and you are affected by that, vis-a-vis -vis more people, there is a murder committed every time, every day. So what happens is the person who spreads that is a mass murderer. Not just a murderer, mass murderer. Because universe does not distinguish between physical murder and character assassination. Both are assassination. But the physical murder occurs only once. The character assassination over, happens over and over and over again. So it compounds. This is how grossly ignorant people are. They think, oh, so what? We can spread stories about so and so. As I said, 20% fact, 80% lies, garnish it with a lot of sleaze and salacious stuff because that gives it the life to last. Go on though. Spread it around. Oh, you have to pay, you have to pay and then that payment is, I tell you, it's worse than killing somebody. <coughs> no good. Nobody knows about Very few people have written on this. But you have to deal with this in the world. You can't escape it. You can't go around expecting people to be without jealousy or without a gender, without trying to bring you down or trying to hurt and harm you. From, from the greatest saints and avatars to the most ordinary mundane people, they all face. They all. And in fact, the more famous you are, the more successful you are, the greater is the risk of somebody doing that. You can ignore it. You can ignore it. As I said, if you protect yourself energetically and you can cope with the harm that is doing to you. Yes. What else can you do? Because you can't go around putting tape on people's lips and preventing them from talking. So, yes. 